question bears. Population and the lying and cheating and all that nice stuff. Some people, um, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. My hands are up in the air. Where, where, yeah, let me hear. What do you have? Well, we can go out to dinner and then out to the bar. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to wake up tied up in the Everglades. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, we'll keep it open. Okay. <laughs> Call security. <laughs> we have a question for you right down here, Will. Hey. Um, so we're kind of curious, really, what happened with you and Janelle behind closed doors when the cameras weren't around? Uh, with, the with the whispering? Okay, look, if I if I locked all the doors here, some of you people would flirt a lot. That's all that's the way I can explain it. When you there's a lot of flirting going on. When you're isolated like that, you really you know, you you Next question. Alright, just kidding. No, no. You just, uh, we've not, um, honestly, nothing happened in the house that was inappropriate. People, I think, really fantasized about things. People really wanted things to happen, but at the end of the day, it was pretty, it was pretty PG, PG-13. Right over here, Will. Chill Town, she's wearing a Chill Town shirt. My, my uh, partner in crime's over there, she actually made that. But, um, I admit, like, I didn't like it at first. Thanks. <laughs> Show. How were you able to keep track of all your lies? Oh, it wasn't easy. Did you see Big Brother 2? Or no? Okay, Big Brother 2, I did the exact same thing. I was really disliked in Big Brother 2, and I just felt that for me, that was the best way to play the game, and I still believe that. I mean, I'm good friends with Kaser, I hang out with him once a week, but you can't play the game like he does and expect to do well. Testament to that is that he got kicked out pretty quickly on two seasons. If you um, agree to manipulate and you abide by the rules of the show, as long as you can check your ethics and your morals, you'll really do well. And I, I firmly believe that. If you look at past winners, they were either floaters or they were people who uh, manipulated. All the time. And then you couldn't remember who you told things? The question was, would I, can I, did I tell so many lies I couldn't remember them? Absolutely. I had no lines with everyone, and there was a reason for that. Lauren Burger all the way over there. Hi, Will. Hey. Um, I have two questions, actually. Okay. Um, the first one is, will you marry me? <laughs> and the second one is, how is um, Boogie doing? And then, do y'all ever hang out? Or... Oh, they're You guys want me to call Mike Boogie? Oh, yeah. This is his shirt off the show, Will. See that? This is the shirt right here that Mike Boogie want, that he was wearing when he won the show. You can thank eBay. Have for Mike Boogie. <laughs> okay. What are you doing with the money? So, wait, I have to tell Boogie, I have to tell you, there's someone here holding up the shirt that you threw into the audience at the finale show. <laughs> yeah, do you have anything to say? No. <laughs> it's true. I got. <laughs> Hey, Will, ask uh, Mike when he's going to open up a restaurant in Jacksonville. Yeah! When are you opening up a restaurant in Jacksonville? He said Atlanta is opening soon. We have three places opening in Atlanta in November and December. Yeah, that's six hours away. <laughs> Just to let it know. He said six hours away. Oh, wait, 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 Boogie, there's one more question for you. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. We have a so Bailey here. Bailey wants to give you something, Dr. I don't Bro. know if Bailey's old enough to watch Big Brother. <laughs> there she is. Go to, the, go to the stage and give him that. That's it? <laughs> it says, it says, from Bailey, I won't say the last name. Hi, Will. My daddy says hi. <laughs> 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 
Okay, well, right here, we have Deanna with a question. I will. I've got a question. Um, what happens when you and Boogie played so well as a team? Did you guys plan this before? Um, good question. We, when the producers first approached me about the show, they said, Will, this summer we may be considering having you come back for, and I said, stop, you're lying. You're not considering having me come back. It's All-Stars. I know it's All-Stars. It's time for All-Stars. It's All-Stars. And they said, well, what would it, what's it going to take for you to do All-Stars? And I said, I'm not going on unless you bring my Boogie on, because he's my best friend. He had a raw deal the first time we were on the show, and for me it was important that he be there. For two reasons. One, I wanted to repay his loyalty. And two, I needed protection. I knew if I didn't have someone there to help me, I wasn't going to do very well. So, um, so anyway, they told, they said they couldn't promise that they were going to put him on. And I said, if I show up and he's not there, I'm going to leave. I'm going to walk right out because I won't do well, and it's going to be too painful. It's going to be too annoying for me to be there. Needless to say, they put him on, and we we were hoping that was going to happen the whole time. And um, a lot of people have said that was a really unfair advantage going on a show with only 14 people, one of them being your best friend. But it wasn't a secret that we were together. I mean, we had Chilltown shirts. We made it clear from day one we were together. And if someone didn't target us as a pair, it's their own fault. So um, I'm not doing a great job answering your question, but we absolutely plan to do, to, to do well on the show. Um, we did as well as we could have under the circumstances. And, um, and it was, I could not have, you know, he couldn't have done the things he did without my help, and I never could have gone as far as I did without his help. It was, a, it was amazing having him there. Speaking on that, how did the whole, uh, how did the whole phone call thing get started in the, uh, in the... Everybody, everyone wants to know that. We just did it one day randomly, and then, uh, what, what's funny is, we didn't know if that was getting on the show or not, because you give them thousands of hours of footage, and you're just not sure what's making it. So we would constantly give them that. You, obviously, you don't see a producer, you're just looking at a one-way mirror. And we didn't know if they were. We didn't know if they thought it was funny or interesting. So Neil Patrick Harris came in the house, and we said, "Hey, will you do a phone call with us?" And he he's a big fan of the show, and he was like, "Phone call? What's that?" And we were like, "Oh no!" We we're like, "The phone calls didn't make it." And um, so we were kind of bummed out. And he did one with us. He's like, "I'll do it," but and then he was just he obviously had watched the show and knew they were doing well, but he was just uh, messing with us. Hi, Will. Hi. You're really cute. <laughs> When you, when you got kicked out the last time, you looked a little sad until you saw Julie Chen. Did you have a secret crush on her? Uh, <laughs> Julie Chen and I have a very weird relationship. She is, I, I love her. She's awesome, she's beautiful, she's intelligent. She and I have a very strange relationship. Um, on more than one occasion, I've seen her out in LA and just kind of sat down and started having dinner with her and Les, and they were like, go away right now. Like, Get out of here. So um, it's funny. We, we have a strange relationship. If you, on one of the episodes, um, I said to her, I called her sweetheart on one of the episodes. I said, sweetheart, get me out of here, and that didn't go over so well. So they said uh, they're not going to, on the live shows, if you notice after that point, they don't talk to me much on the live shows after that. But no, she's great. She's awesome. She is awesome. And I know she gets a lot of flack. People call her the Chen bot. She's great at what she does, because it is not easy to get up there and have 14 idiots, you know, yell at you every day and, and expect it to come out well. So I, I think she actually does a lot better job than a lot of people give her credit for. Credit for, and I think she does a phenomenal job. Just to see Julie Chen is the reason I started watching Big Brother. She's Me too. so beautiful. We have Cammy here with a question. Hey, Cammy. 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 Since you've been on Big Brother two and seven, do you recommend any of us to get on Big Brother and the experience that you went through? Uh, it really is much more difficult mentally than you would imagine. It, I mean, imagine if you and your best friend went to your basement today. Florida doesn't have basements. Okay, the attic? <laughs> the attic? Is <laughs> Magnum P.I. over here? Take it easy. It's going to grill me. Um, okay, let's say you went in the attic, tough guy. So you, got, you and your best friend locked each other in the attic, and um, you threw away the TV, the computer, the radio. You guys would kill each other after three days. It's really difficult to be uh, in a situation like that. People don't realize that the games take place 15 minutes a week and the rest of the time you're just trapped in a house with people who hate you so uh, it, it's it's more difficult than you think the downtime is incredible and imagine if you just take three months off your life with no contact with the outside world you'd be surprised how much the world changes while you're gone speaking of that I you know I think everyone here we've kind of secretly fantasized about being on the show one reason I've what never freak. I know right but one reason I've never thought to do it is because I'm a huge movie lover and I could not miss a whole summer of like the blockbuster movie. sure what did you miss the most when you're 